girl, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing another try on haul, but this time it's going to be Abercrombie & Fitch jeans. Everybody is obsessed with them and I'm like, okay, what, is it worth the hype? So I spent my money before you guys do and let's figure this out together. I know they do have a ton of sales going on and actually a couple of these were on sale when I purchased them. Not sure how the sale is going to look like at the time that you're watching this video because they do live on my channel forever, but you can always shop the items here on YouTube. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already joined my family and let's get started. First up are going to be from the Curb Love Collection. So if you're curvier, which I'm I'm, I guess this could also be considered a curve, right? <laughs> like my body's not like being a round potato. These do feel like they have a little bit of a stretch to them. They are flared, so they should give me more of a shape as well. I actually really like them. I'm not sure if I should have gone a size larger. Two factors in whether or not I should go up or down. Now, they are a little bit snug a lot here at the waist, but I just feel like the more you wear them, they kind of like loosen up a little bit. I don't want them to be too baggy, and I know I'm gonna have that situation with a larger size than this. What would you guys do? Do you guys go bigger or smaller? Let's check out the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, back is looking great. The length is perfect for me, so if you are 5'6", taller at the long. These do like add a little extra something thanks to the fact that they are snug here. They go straight into the knee and then they flare out a little bit. So it gives you the illusion of having a Coke bottle body instead of just the Okay, next up is going to be the high rise, the mom jean in a size 3010. This is also from the Curve Love collection. Now I did do a try on for Instagram and these were a little bit on the baggy side but I still like them because they're really comfortable. Obviously they're not strangling me in the waist. I'm just, I'm curious if you guys own these jeans, do they get better after you wash them? Let me know. This is what the back looks like. It's not too favorable back here just because they are a little bit on the loose side. These do hit me at the ankle and I was prepared for that. I do like to wear like funky socks and show off my sneakers, um, very casual, cute, you know, looks, but yeah. I don't know, now that I'm seeing it, mm, these next ones are the Skinny High Rise Curve Love 30 10 Extra Large. I don't know what that means. They do have some light distressing in one knee, and I'm okay with that. I like the length of these, but they do kind of feel a little bit on the baggy side, like on my thighs. So just for that, I'm like, hmm, considering returning them. I also like a little bit of stiffness here in the front to hold down my potato. Um, but yeah, I see what they did here. It is a lot roomier in the hips as well. So if you're a hippie girl, this is going to be the collection for you. Remember, curve love. And of course I had to get a pair of black jeans. These are the 90s relaxed jean high rise 30 10 regular. But I'm like, if these are regular, what would the tall look like? Because the length on these are amazing. And I'm just scared that they're gonna shrink when I wash them. In my try-on video, these are the ones that you guys love the most. I think if anything, I might even dry clean them. Cause I don't know about you guys, I don't wash my denim very often. So I think it'd be worth the investment. These are straight. I don't know where this little peekaboo thigh gap came from, but girl, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Yes, so these are a strong yes. Like, pop the tags like I did on my Instagram video. Like, these are staying with mama. These are the 90s relaxed jean high rise 30 long. So I believe that these might be like the sister pants to the black ones, except for they're supposed to be longer. I think they're a lot tighter in the waist. And I know this because I've already tried them on, but these are the ones that I wanted to keep as well. Are we seeing the same thing, girl? Longest where it's at. Longest where it's at. Ow, 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 ow. Yes. This last pair that I'm gonna try on for you guys, I wanna say that they are the same as the ones previous to this one, the ones that are really long, um, but these are a 29.8 regular. I don't even think I've tried these on just yet. I'm like, I don't know why I would pick an eight. Like, what? Sounds too freaking small for me. Well, let's try it on. Ooh, they're a little bit 
little tighter, girl. Excuse me. These are smaller and shorter. Well, regular size. But since I'm really not like curvy, like I don't have like a bigger bottom or a super heavy top, I just don't have a freaking waist, okay? I don't think the Curve Love collection is for me. It just, I don't know, almost like accentuates the fact that I'm round in this area right here. So these ones in particular are gonna have to go back. But if you have a smaller waist, like my twin sister and a, a rump and up, then these pants will be amazing for you and for her. But for me, since I am just round right here, everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, congratulations. Like, don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. It's not gonna happen. And that's it. I'm super sweaty. I didn't wear any deodorant because I was doing some try-ons earlier. And I don't wanna get my deodorant on everything, but now I'm like, am I getting my DNA on everything? Damn. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me all the way to the end of this video. It's probably gonna be a short one because it is just jeans and I'm showing you and giving you my reaction to each pair as I'm trying them on. But if you have any other company that you'd like me to check out their jeans from, because it's difficult to find a really good pair, right? Especially at my size, my age, and my height. It's difficult. I have very few jeans that fit me perfectly. Um, and that's probably why I wear them over and over and over and over and over again when I really like them. I think that might be the case for a few in this video, but let me know your guys' um, requests or suggestions in the comments down below. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and support. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and I'll see you soon.